Hello everybody and welcome to my Sunday pickup video. Uh, after this week I will be going back to my regular broadcasting which is two videos a week of my pickups and a review. And I know I didn't do a Mega Gamer Challenge video this month because I only did one game and it would be boring because I'll just be talking about that game. So this one here I'm going to add it in two months and one. So uh, I do have three games so far beaten. I'll probably have another one by the end of the month. Uh, first thing I'm going to start off with is the DVDs and Blu-rays like I always do. Uh, first one I picked up at the dollar store. It's a triple feature of Horror Volume 1, which has uh, Forget Me Not, House of Fallen, and Red Hook. Red Hook I've seen. Not a very good movie. Sorry about the glare. Um, the rest I haven't seen yet, so that's something I'm be looking forward to. And then I got Alien Uprising. This hasn't come out that long ago, I believe. Uh, say Jean-Claude Van Damme acts into it, but... I really doubt he's into it that long and has a digital copy. So if anybody's interested in that, please let me know and I will probably hand that over to you. And then I got American Horror Story Asylum, the second season. I only watched the first season so far and I want to get more into this. Uh, first season was awesome and I cannot wait to break into this one. And I want to get season 3 and 4 and 5 when it comes out. I'm right, moving into the gaming related stuff. I paid five dollars for this. It's Woody from Disney's Infinite, the Infinite series. Uh, they were selling out their old Infinite series, so I had to pick them up. It's Woody. Welcome to Woody Roundhouse. Yep. Um, just had to sing that. Picked up two PSP games. Well, one PSP game, one movie, and I do pick up the movies when I see them cheap. So these were both free off of Amazon because I go through my Swagbuck points. First one is Luminous. A uh, great puzzle game I've seen, Round 2 Gaming, I believe, do a review of this, and when i seen it, I wanted to get my hands on it, but it just took me long enough to get it, so uh, I got Open Water, not a great movie, but like I said, when I see them cheap on uh, PSP, I'll pick them up, I mean, so this was free, and all it is is about two people stranded in the water, and they're just waiting for sharks to eat them. Uh, I got another game at the dollar store. I paid three dollars for this. It's Sesame Street's Ready Set Grover with Elmo the video game. Uh, you get a cool little stylus with it and everything. Uh, I was a big fan of Sesame Street. Didn't have this in my collection. I had to open it to see how it was set up inside. Uh, I did pay three dollars for this, so another one to add to my collection. Uh, I got four PS Vita games right here. Um, I'm a big Vita fan, and I've been trying to get all the games before the system is officially dead. So, uh, the minute that I seen the source had a sale on to these, uh, I had to pick them up. But I think they were, believe they were $10 a piece. Uh, first one is PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. Uh, I platinumed this on the PS3, but wanted to get it on my Vita because I love playing my Vita. And, like I said, there wasn't enough games put up for the Vita. I wish there was. Next one is Lego Harry Potter Years 5 to 7. And there's a lot of Lego games on the uh, Vita, which I'm surprised with. But, uh,. I love the Lego games. Uh, I know my uh, co uh, my other YouTube friends out there, uh, little brother and dad, would agree with the same thing. These Lego games are awesome. Uh, from the Tall Tales series, The Walking Dead Season 2. Uh, I don't know if they released Season 1 on Vita or not, but I'll keep an eye out for it. Uh, these are just story-based type games where you pick where you want to go. And that's, well, that's all. I believe this is an RPG. And it's Soul Sacrifice. Looks like a pretty cool game. Um, the cover alone is what drawed me in. I've only seen this for like for ten dollars. I had to get it. Well, it was originally fifteen, and I was gonna get it for fifteen. And then when I went to the source, they said, "Oh, we're doing a sale and whatnot." And I got it for ten, so I'm happy to have it. Soul Sacrifice. Uh, I got a PlayStation One game. I paid under five dollars for, and I've been looking for it for a while, and it sells for more than that. So the minute I got it, I the minute I seen it for under five, I was like, okay, that's mine. And it was from JJ Games before they put, started putting uh, tax, uh, price on their shipping. And that's Chronicles of the Sword. The case is a little bit beat up, but I can do with a little beat, beat up case. Uh, this game is in excellent shape. So glad to have it in my collection now. It's an RPG and very cool to have. I picked up a couple of PlayStation 3 games. First one I picked up was Golden Axe Beast Rider. I paid $3 for this. I uh, know nothing about it, but I've heard it's an 
awful, awful game. But it can't be that bad. I, I love the Golden Axe series when I was a kid on the Sega Genesis. If anybody's played this, please let me know. Uh, I did buy this from the source, too. It was $10. At Castlevania Lords of Shadows 2. I'm a big Castlevania nut. That you don't know that by now, but just by the way I ramble about Castlevania. Then you don't know me. Um, then I got this. My friend had to borrow it and play it. He said it was a great game. And just as good as this first one, so... I paid 97 cents at the source for this one, and I was happy to get it in my collection because it was the last copy there. And I'm so, like I said, pick. I just went in at the lucky time, and that's Chaotix Shadow Warriors for 97 cents. Can't pass that up for 97 cents for a PlayStation 3 game. Who the hell would pass that up? And Amazon was doing a sale on PlayStation 4 games, and when I seen this for, uh, I believe it was $10, I had to pick it up. Uh, it was Wolfenstein: The Old Blood. Uh, this was a couple months ago, they were doing the sale onto this, so, I knew this game wasn't out that long, so I picked it up just to, uh, have it put, put in my collection, so, uh, yeah, that's my pickups, <sighs> sorry about that, that's my pickups for this week, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, uh, if anybody wants to add me to the PlayStation Network, it's, uh, M underscore C-A-S-E-666, uh, add me if you want, um, I add everybody, just let me know who you are, for, so I don't, uh, accidentally decline you, uh, because, uh, I know there's a lot of hackers out there too, so, um, don't know what else to say, please, like I said, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next week with another pickup video, and hopefully this week with another review, so, take her easy, and keep fucking gaming, everybody.